Hello profit takers, it's Victoria here and we are back today with another video. And today we are going to talk about directional bias. Very, very, very important for us to take a peek at the higher time frame and see what it is telling us. Where are we at in or within the market maker cycle? All right, so let's get to the charts. So welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Let me get my pen real quick. I always knew there was something I forget. <laughs> is to get my pen out so that we can, you know, we can get to the whiteboard on this here chart, right? So we're gonna use this chart as our whiteboard as usual, as per usual. So hold on guys, let me see where my pen's at. There we go. Um, let's slide it on over here. I don't know about you guys, but I got a, about, a, about three monitors. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are in business. So the market maker cycle, it goes a little bit like this, right? Okay, boom, 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 boom. So we have our low right here where the swing low is and the failed breakout, okay? Like we see right here. And it's usually at a major level, okay? And I have this area highlighted. This is probably a previous week low. And then we have an area of consolidation. And then we have oftentimes a V of some sort. Okay. And then we have uh, what we call the expansion. So this is the retracement. You can barely see it. I'm sorry. And then we have where it expands. Okay. Then we have this other area here where it retraces back, creates another low and it breaks the previous high. And then we're off to the races. Now we, I probably could have used this gigantic one right here to, to illustrate that, but you know, they're all really, really close together, <laughs> but that's the market maker cycle. And this can happen in one, two, three days before the flip. Um, sometimes this can take four days, right? And sometimes it can even go as far as five to six, right? And then sometimes it'll just, like this one did, it just ended up coming here. We thought we were gonna get a, a nice um, bear cycle, but it looks like we have a reset, right? We have a reset to the low, okay? And that's exactly what happened right here, all right? And we're looking at GU. So if you wanna follow along, you most definitely can open up your chart and take a look, okay? So that is the market maker cycle in a nutshell, all right? So one more time for the people in the back, okay? I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna do this again, okay? Now, hopefully I can make it prettier, <laughs> all right? So we have our market maker cycle, which is often like this, okay? Boom, boom off to the new trend, we think, right? It's always a question mark at this point, all right? And again, we're at a major level. This is a major level right here. And we had our, what we would consider, um, this is when, you know, the liquidity um, was taken, right? This, the, and, <laughs> and that's how it creates this. So. That is uh, a area where we also have an order block that was created. I mean, there's just so many things here that helps to give you confluence. Cause we always say you want to have about two to three check boxes, confluences for you to take that trade. So we have our boom right here, major level. We see our W pattern. We are also, not only are we on a major level, we also have the previous day low here that we tr attempted to break, but it failed. Okay. Got a big F. All right. And then we went on up. So our first target is obviously going to be yesterday's high. That's the first target because we always want to make sure, especially with when we're going long, we want to do what respect the lows and we want to take out the highs. That's it. And every single time the market is going to, it, it can consolidate a tad bit here that happens. And then it's going to uh, retrace a little bit. Okay, we want it to retrace. We want it to create a low. And this is where we want to go ahead and um, boom, 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 like these little dots here. This is where we want to enter right there. Okay, 
that's our entry. Okay, break of structure, then it expands again, then it gets to the high, right? And these are called, um, these are also referred to as range lows, okay? All right, and then we have another opportunity here, boom, 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 a little dotted here for the break of structure, and then we're off to the races. And then here, this is the lovely one because it's that last push, right? We have our first push, second push, third push. It's often the last push, um, on the third day, right? Again, this is just hypothetically speaking, sometimes it can take four days for this to happen, but a, a normal market would technically be, right, just like this one, right? Just like that. So, um, and this happened to take two days, right? And this one went a little bit faster because we had this gigantic candle right here. And anytime the market is doing that, you wanna take note because that could mean that they're going to be clearing, um, they're gonna be clearing up this uh, trend pretty soon, okay? And I've noticed that this particular week, we're in week three, okay? We're in week three of the market maker cycle, well, of the month rather, I wouldn't say of the market maker cycle, um, but we're definitely in week three, guys. And I've been noticing from, you know, everything just overlaps, right? And why do I mean, what do I mean by overlaps? So, like this was this was a new peak, right? And oftentimes you can count the peak one, two, three days from the peak, right? Um, but because this was also ending a previous day, right? And I'm just gonna guess, okay, right? A four, this four now just goes to one. So that's why I have my one starting here because that's the day the new peak started. Cause I like to count, um, of the, of the peak, right. From the, of the peak, not from the peak. <laughs> right. And that's the two different, I just, just how I, I kind of figured it out the way Stacy Burke counts the, tr and that's how I learned these things overlap. I didn't quite understand how they overlapped when I was, um, following, uh, Murrow cause Murrow and Burke are my favorite um, two traders out there, mentors, and I've done, never met them. I just watch their stuff and I just love it. And this is me just, you know, going over what it is I learned. And we have this indicator here that initially is built off of BTMM, but, but we're going to have a few changes on here so that we can make sure that you guys are, um, uh, getting, I mean, it helps you with the trend. Number one, that's number one, but I want to make sure that it also includes, you know, these other powerful levels and perhaps these highs and lows being broken so they can help you stay in line of what the bias is. Okay. All right. So we got this part here, guys. I hope we got this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. I hope that made sense. So that's how we do get our directional bias. Okay. And again, pay attention to these giant candles. Sometimes you'll see three of them in a row, right? And that just, it's just telling you that this thing is coming to an end, right? And it did, it ended for like two days. <laughs> we had a, um, we had a short trade here for two days and technically today is Thursday. What's, what's today? Oh, today's not Thursday guys. Ooh, today is Tuesday, right? So after this short trade yesterday, cause this was still showing a one, this was showing us that we were, uh, at the high, right? So this day on the 15th, on Friday, we had our first short opportunity, right? Which was like your day one or day zero trade. Monday came in for the day after the day two trade, right? And we were expecting it to break the lows and it did right? It did exactly what we needed it to do. And it not only did it break the low, but it created a low. All right. So yesterday I wasn't quite sure. Um, I was like, okay, we might get a reversal, um, on today because if you also look at it, it's also your three day trade one, two, three. And that's another thing I want you to notice about this week. All right. I've been seeing a lot of three day trades within this week. So, um, this is week three of December of the month. And we know how these patterns, uh, these templates show up all the time, right? So this week was a lot of, you know, as we started into this week, we ended up, we ended the week 
in the three day type of style. And we're continuing, I'm continuing to see that style. Last week, we had a lot of trades that were three days. Like, let me show you an example. Let me show you what we would see a lot of last week. Um, one of my favorite setups to be exact, actually. Let me get to bring, I'm gonna show you guys an example, guys. So you'll know exactly what I mean. You have your three day breaks, right? Here we go. I'm about to slide this on over here so you can see. Okay, so last week we were seeing a lot of trades like this template. This template was showing up on every darn pair you could ask for, right? <laughs> so when I would look at the three low of week or high of week signal, I'm looking here to get that darn trade. I'm looking for that third push up or down. And it was just in sync, just like that. All the pairs were like that last week, all right? So that's just a hint, hint, okay? Hint, hint, guys. That was, last week was what? The second week of December? We're in the third week and then we got one more week, right? One more week, I'm gonna see what those patterns are gonna look like. Um, and we'll just take a note of it, you know, add it to, you know, the flashcards in our locals group, right? So we can remember, hey, what happened this week? You know, what's the template gonna look like? We're gonna, we're gonna watch them and see if they, if they continue to follow that for the following month, right? Week one, two, three, and four, <laughs> right? It'll be very interesting if they do that. Um, so what I did here, I went to H4 again, remember H4, um, you want to, you can take your fib here and get an idea of where the retracement might be. Okay. Um, let's see, what did I do? Was it on this one or was it this high up here? Yeah, there it was. It was this high. I used the current high for this week so far, and that's where I got my 50%, right? So I was like, okay, if it's going to retrace, this is the area where I would look for it on the higher time frame, and that's why I dropped that little thing there. And if it's not going to retrace there, it's going to get support, right? So that's how I'm kind of seeing how this plays out. And this, I'm still asleep when this is happening, right? If I was awake, I would be in this trade like you wouldn't even know, but I was already expecting it to reverse, but I wasn't expecting it to completely change, right? I wasn't doing, I wasn't expecting it because I didn't check, right? I did not look at H4 and just really, I looked at it to get the retracement, but I was still thinking, you know, this thing can continue to break on down and come here, right? And hit this low again, because we all know that it comes back to this low, it's going to get support because that's going to be technically like the third time. But I'll, um, let's see, one uh, happened twice that last week. So perhaps it could come down here and hit it again. I don't know, right? I have no idea what the market is going to do. But at the time yesterday, I was like, let me just do that. Put that here. When I get back to the chart, I'm going to reassess. So obviously when I got back to the charts, this thing had already shot up and got support. So <laughs> it was going long guys. All right. And what time do I get to the chart? All right. About 1500, which is seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right? Seven o'clock in the morning. Why didn't I get here sooner? Right? Um, I just, I, I normally trade New York, right? I really just normally trade New York. So this is just low hanging fruit for me. So um, my idea here was like, okay, we may get a retracement in New York. I don't know. Sometimes these uh, new peak trades, you just don't counter them at all. Sometimes you get an opportunity to counter them a little bit, but not too much. So this one, um, I did get in here just a little bit in New York because I knew, I knew that it wasn't going to do a lot because it was still, it was a brand new peak trade and any kind of reversal, you know, you, you're going to get lucky, right? So I did get a little bit of pips out there, but I would have loved to have gotten in here obviously way earlier, or I would have wished it would have waited for me, <laughs> right? For me to get into this trade. But nonetheless, guys, um, it is what it is with these markets. Sometimes the best time to trade is London, but is it going to be always available for us? No, it's not. Okay. Um, but you know, we do it. There's so many other pairs to choose from and to be able to take advantage of. It's not like you just need to have one pair. Okay. And you know, 
looking at the indicator here, guys, you have a lot of pairs to choose from and you don't have to do any heavy um, analysis with it either, okay? You don't, you just pick a pair and you just go right to it and then you see where you're at. So like I said, we already know we're, we're um, this is our day two. Now, technically for me right now, guys, it is still the 19th, okay? It is still the 19th, it is still Tuesday all day long, right? But I know right now in the trading world in Asia, it's already the next day. That's why this has already turned over to the next day. So what am I looking for now? I am looking for price to break this high. Okay. Let me just grab this here. Okay. I just want to play fair. It's fine. I am looking for price to break the high. Simple as that. Okay. So we already have our first break. Well, yeah, we already broke this this one out right here. Let me just draw the break of structure that happened right there. That's already broken. So we already have our first one done. So now we're looking for the second one. I'm gonna grab this right here and drag it over. Sorry, these lines are a little janky, you know. I love MT4. <laughs> oh, by the way, we are going to have this um, indicator available for MT5. That's going to be coming to us in the, you know, the next year here. So I'm very excited for that. All right. Um, and if you, and the one thing that I do is if you have a couple, like, let's say you're doing a demo account and you have your live account, um, I will allow you to have the license on two accounts, right? A demo and a live one, if that's what you want to do. Because, you know, I think it's cool, right? And I want you to get, I want you to be able to really play with it, right? I want you to be able to really play with it. And the only way you can do that is with demo. But then, of course, you got to go and just go live. I mean, at the end of the day, you just got to go live. I mean, that's really it right there. Okay, guys. So that will be available. Um, we are looking into trading view. That's going to come as well. But the first things first is um, MT5. Okay. So I wanted to share that exciting news and some other enhancements, um, within this indicator itself, because I really want this tool to be a go-to for you to easily get in here and get stuff done. Now, I also have in the locals group, right? I have these, and I just showed you one of them, but I have these, you know, I document this stuff pretty much every day, right? I'm coming in here creating flashcards, not only just for myself, but for you all too, so that you can also have it at your fingertips when you wanna refer, um, on what happened before, because it's not always gonna be exact amendo, right? But it's gonna have some kind of um, similarity about it, okay? So how do you get this indicator? Okay, it's very easy. You're just gonna go to the website. The information is going to be at the, um, the bottom of this here. Um, description, I couldn't think of the word guys, here we go. So you have your opportunity here to just do the free trial. You can have a free trial for seven days. Okay. Now, if you want to skip the free trial, all right. So we already here looking at the free trial. All you need to do is enter your MT4 number here. And of course, make sure you select free trial, enter your MT4 number there. Okay. If you want to skip the free trial and go ahead and get it, come up here to the shop button. All right, and this is the first one, the trade manager with the EA. And then here's just the indicator only. You're gonna notice it says the free trial as well here, but this one on the indicator part, it has the options for the free trial and then the, um, the uh, opportunity to do the, uh, to purchase based on you know what you want. So you can do month to month, you can um, do whatever you want, right? Month to month three months, six months, or one year, whichever you prefer, right? Cancel at any time if you're doing the month to month or, or, you know, six, whichever one you choose, you can cancel it at any time, okay? So right now you can save 30%. Let me make sure I have my coupon code uh, in here, right? Last time I had it all wrong. So boom, it's already there. I already had it in here, guys. I was already playing around. But it was it's going to go ahead and give you the 30% takes that $15 off there. And then you proceed to check out. And that's it. It's that simple. Okay? All right. So um, be sure to grab yourself this tool. Go to the website, um, profittakersalert.com.
prophettakersalert.com. All right. Visit us at prophettakersalert.com. Save 30%. Make sure you enter that code, guys. Okay. And I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for this evening. I really appreciate you all. And we're going to have another video coming up here pretty soon. So just be on standby for that. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you'll know when we're going live again. All right. Until next time. Ciao for now.